Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPad. In this video, we will be having a look at CICD overview. So CICD basically stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment. Now let us take a look at the agenda for this video. First here I'll be explaining what Software Development Lifecycle or SDLC is. And then later I'll be talking about Continuous Integration followed by DevOps Movement. And finally, I'll be talking about continuous delivery, which is the CD part of this video. Now, before I move on with the first topic, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Software development lifecycle. So software development follows a flow, starting with identifying new features. This is uh, nothing but the requirements part, and that is followed by planning and then doing the actual development as in coding. And then uh, it also involves designing as well, followed by committing the source code changes and running builds and tests. So these tests uh, can include unit tests, integration tests, functional tests, acceptance uh, tests, and uh, smoke tests, etc. So and finally deploying it to production. So with a traditional waterfall software delivery approach, Developers could work independently for a very long time. They would not have a clue about how many issues they would be running into during the integration phase. In order to address this issue, the Agile software development model was introduced. Agile changed the way software development teams worked. One of the key principles of this methodology was delivering working software frequently. The focus moved to releasing incremental software rather than the Big Bang waterfall releases, which took months and e even years. So delivering software frequently meant producing stable code for every incremental release. It was quite a challenge to integrate changes from various developers on the team. This led to software teams looking for better approaches. Continuous integration or CI, it offered a ray of hope and started to gain in popularity. Now let us see what continuous integration exactly is. Let us move on to the next topic. So continuous integration is an agile engineering practice from the extreme programming methodology. It primarily focuses on automated build and test for every change committed to the version control system by the developers. And according to Martin Fowler, continuous integration is a software development practice where members of a team integrate their work frequently. Usually, each person integrates it at least daily, leading to multiple integrations per day. Each integration is verified by an automated build. This includes the testing process as well. And then to detect integration errors as quickly as possible. In order to implement continuous integration, you will need the following. Firstly, you will need a version control system. So uh, VCS, it uh, stores all the source code checked in by the teams and acts as a single source of truth. Later, you will need automated build and unit test. It is not sufficient if the code written by a developer works only on his or her machine. Every commit that makes it to the version control system should be built and tested by an independent continuous integration server. Then you will need some form of feedback. So developers should get their feedback on their commits. Anytime a developer's change breaks the build, they can take the necessary action. For example, email notifications. And finally, you would uh, need an agreement on the base of working. It is important that everyone on the team follows the practice of checking in incremental changes rather than waiting till they are fully developed. Their priority should be to fix any build issues that may arise with the checked in code. Now that we have an idea about continuous integration, let us move on to the next topic, which is the DevOps movement within CI/CD. So continuous integration primarily solves the development part of the workflow. However, there is more to the software delivery than just feature development and integrating the changes. There is testing, which involves manual testing and automated testing as well. And then release process where the actual deployment to the customer or production takes place. And in the previous DevOps era, each team was responsible for their own work. The development team would take care of the feature development. This is where their job ended. They would then throw it over to the quality assurance or the QA team. 
The QA team would run all the extended test suites, which can be manual and automated. And then if things worked out fine, they would hand the features off to the operations team, who would then ultimately roll out the new features into production and manage them. Each of these teams worked in silos, which means independently. The release processes were mostly manual and error prone, leading to longer and painful release cycles. Every time something went wrong, a massive amount of time was spent trying to get rid of the root cause of the issue, let alone the blame game. All this resulted in a lot of wasted time at various levels of the organization. In reality, every single team should be equally responsible for the release of the new software, which means that all of these uh, teams need to work in close collaboration with each other. The DevOps movement, which originated from agile software development, strongly emphasizes the need for collaboration amongst the various teams involved in the software delivery process. In addition to close collaboration, automation of each of the stages of the software delivery process and constant feedback cycles are also considered extremely important. Continuous delivery provides a framework to achieve the goals of DevOps through automation and continuous feedback loops. So this is what the DevOps movement held. And uh, let us move on to the next topic, uh, which is continuous delivery or the CD part of the CI CD pipeline. Continuous delivery is a logical extension of continuous integration. While continuous integration lets you automate the software build and test processes, Continuous delivery automates the full application delivery process by taking any change in code, which includes new features, bug fixes, etc. All the way from development, that is the code commit part, to deployment, which includes uh, deploying them to environments such as staging and production. It also ensures that you are able to release new changes to your customers quickly in a reliable and repeatable manner. So according to Martin Fowler, who coined the term continuous delivery, he says, continuous delivery is a software development discipline where you build software in such a way that the software can be released to production at any time. So you are doing continuous delivery when you follow some of these uh, steps. Now let us take a look at some of these steps. The first one is your software is deployable throughout its life cycle. Then your team prioritizes keeping the software deployable over working on new features. Anybody can get fast automated feedback on the production readiness of their systems anytime somebody makes a change to them. You can also perform push button deployments of any version of the software to any environment on demand. And then to achieve continuous delivery, you will need two of the following steps, which is a close collaborative working relationship between everyone involved in delivery. So this often is referred to as a DevOps culture within an organization. Then you would need an extensive automation of all possible parts of the delivery process, usually using a pipeline, which is a, can also be called as a deployment pipeline. Incorporating continuous delivery practices will make your overall release process painless, reduce the time to market for new features and increase the overall quality of the software thereby leading to greater customer satisfaction. So customer satisfaction is the main priority of the CI CD pipeline. It can also significantly reduce your software development costs as your team will prioritize releasing new features over debugging defects. That is it from my side guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.